Exercise 7.1 problems. See the first one. In quadrilateral ACBD, AC is equals to AD and AB bisects angle A. Show that triangle ABC congruent to triangle ABD. What can you say about BC and BD? So here two triangles. Triangle ABC and triangle ABD. Just write like this. Now ABC and ABD in these two triangles. AC is equals to AD. So AC is equals to AD. This is given. Right. And angle AB bisects angle A. This AB is dividing angle A into two equal parts. Bisecting means dividing into two equal parts. So now we can say angle CAB is equals to angle PAD. Reason same. AB bisects angle A. Now coming to the next this AB is in this triangle and this AB is in this triangle also. So common side AB is equals to AB common side. So now you see the two sides and the included angle. So by side angle side angle congruence criterion you can write or simply by SAS rule. Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ABD. That's it. Show that they asked and we showed. Now, what can you say about BC and BD? This is BC and BD. These are corresponding parts. Na? So, BC is equals to BD. Why? How? By CPCT. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles. Congregants means what? All are equal. So, then corresponding parts are equal. No? So, by corresponding parts of congregants triangle BC is equals to BD. Okay. Second one. ABCD is a quadrilateral in which AD is equals to BC. This AD is equals to BC. And angle DAB is equals to angle CPA. So, this angle and these angles, uh, these two are equal. We have to prove this. So, first one is, so just compare triangle ABD and triangle BAC. In triangle ABD, this one, triangle ABD, this side and this side are equal. Okay. So, AD is equals to BC. Okay. Students, just a little bit concentration is required. It's very easy. Now, we have angle DAB is equals to angle CBA. CBA and DAB. These two are equal. This is given and this is also given. And see, this AB is a part of ABD triangle and this AB is a part of ABC triangle also. So, AB is equals to AB, common side. See now, so two sides and the included angle. So, by SAS criterion or rule, the two triangles are congruent. Triangle ABD is congruent to triangle BAC. Now, second one. What about BD and AC? This BD and AC. So, by CPCT, ABD and ABC are congruent. Na? So, then BD and AC, B, AC are also equal. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal. So, by CPCT, BD is equals to AC. Now, what about angle B and angle A? That means angle ABD, this angle in this triangle, ABD and angle BAC, BAC, this angle in this triangle. They are 
also equal by CPC team angle ABD is equal to angle BAC because these two triangles are congregant congregants means all parts are equal so these two are equal now third problem AD and BC are equal this AD and BC both are equal and they are perpendicular to this AB same line ki perpendicular ka kudam. so this show that CD bisects AB so this CD AB ni bisect chest that means OA is equal to OB and it will chest okay so now here you are seeing two triangles this is one triangle and this is another triangle so just compare those two triangles students triangle OAD and triangle OBC so here AD is equals to BC given next angle A is equals to angle B that means angle OAD angle A here angle OAD is equals to angle OBC equals to 90 degrees they both are equal now coming to this angle these two angles these two are intersecting lines so they are vertically opposite angles vertically opposite angles are equal so angle AOD is equals to angle BOC why what is the reason vertically opposite angles are equal so here two angles and one side is equal non included side two angles and one non included side so by angle angle side rule or property or congregants criterion these two triangles are congruent you may get one doubt ma'am they are asking to prove CD bisects CAB but you done these two are congregant yes now see what about this OA and OB these two are corresponding sides only now so we can say OA is equals to OB how by CPCT corresponding parts of congregants triangles these two are equal then OA is equals to OB means so CD bisects AB. Similarly, we can write OC is equals to OD also, corresponding parts. Next problem here L and M are two parallel lines intersected by another pair of parallel lines P and Q. Show that triangle ABC congregant to triangle CDA. So here just I wrote the given statement. L parallel to M and P parallel to Q. So here they are asking triangle ABC is congregant to triangle ACD. We have to show that one. So I just wrote the two triangles. We will compare now. See this. This is one triangle. Triangle ABC. And next triangle. Triangle CDA. This one. So, what is common in these two triangles? AC is common now, students. So, just write that. AC is equals to AC. Why? Common side. Common side. Next, these two are parallel. And this is transversal line. So, we can say angle ACB is this angle and this angle or alternate interior angles. Na? So, angle ACB is equals to angle CAD. Reason alternate interior angles. Next. These two are also equal. This angle and this angle. Angle CAB or BAC. Angle BAC is equals to angle 
A, C, D. Same alternate interior angles. So, two angles and one included side. So, we can say by angle side angle rule, these two triangles are congruent. Okay, students, that's it. Next problem. Fifth one, in the adjacent figure, AC is equals to AE. This AC is equals to AE and AB is equals to AD. AB, AD. And angle BAD. BAD, this angle and EAC, these two are equal. So, we have to show that this BC is equals to D. E two sides could have equal gown and chapel. So when you read the problem, just observe the figure carefully. So here A C is here and A B this. So that means the total triangle is A B C. Right? And A E and A D. A E A D. That means this triangle A D E. So, I am comparing these two. Students, you just write given and write the given information. Okay. So, here, after writing the given information, just compare this. Okay. Otherwise, I will write given. So, first just write the given information and compare the two triangles. So, what is this? AC is equals to AA. It is given. Similarly, AB is equals to A. This is also given. And angle BAD. Angle BAD is equal to angle EAC. But actually, angle BAD is not in ABC triangle. See, BAD means this only. But ABC is the triangle. Na? So, this part we require. And in the second triangle also, EAC they give. But the triangle is EAD. So, this part is missing. So, now just I am adding this part. What is this part? Angle CAD on both sides. Angle CAD is equals to angle EAC plus angle CAD. I am adding equal part on both sides. We can add now. Okay. So, see. Angle BAD plus angle CAD. Angle BAD this part and angle CAD this part. If we add, what is that? Angle BAC this. So, it is angle BAC. Now, this part and this part. Angle EAD. These two are equal. So, now, two sides and included angle. Angles corresponding two sides and included angles are equal. So, by SAS rule, the two triangles are congruent. What are those two triangles? Triangle ABC is congruent to triangle AD. So, they are asking BC is equal to DM. So, now corresponding parts of congruent triangles are equal now. So, by CPCT, BC is equals to DE.